Welcome. Today I'm going to do something different. Um, every week I go sh sh wandering for my health around town with my best bud. And, um, well, one of my best buds, because I have, you know. Anyway, so, picked up this mask today. It's a pretty cool riot. It's the Pink Ranger from the Power Rangers. Um, I was going to wear this one, which I also picked up. That woman. And, um, isn't that cool? It's like, it's got some, I, I don't know, what is that? Is that like blood? It's supposed to be like blood? Or cr cracks to the... Uh, you know, to the mask, but yeah, um, I didn't wear that one, because, well, actually, I, I, I thought, it was like, the freaking thing was hitting at the back, right, so, <laughs> or the front, so when I picked it up, I thought it didn't have this, you know, this little, you know, thing there to hold it in place, so let's, let's try Batwoman, how's that, I am um, Batwoman, but it's kind of like keeps sliding off my uh, off my um off my um glasses. So anyway, good up. Welcome to another weekly uh, delivery. I have no uh, I haven't actually checked to see who it's from. Oh, actually, oh, it's from Glenn from Levine. So I'll get to that soon. But the cool thing about this today was that we went around and did our little rounds. Picked up this, this little awesome thing. So, I have dubbed this, right? This is going to be our little uh, red dot before he became red dot. So, this will be Robert Edward Davis, I think, or Edward Davis. I think it's Edward Davis. And because he is a, uh, he's a United Forces, if I remember, Kiwi, right? Sorry, it's backwards, but. Mirrored, so you know, New Zealand officer, and he's got this little thing. And I'm like, I saw this, I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't get this, but then I thought, I can actually make this work. What do you think? I was, like, what do you think of this teddy bear? Like, this is cool or what? I mean, seriously, this is a with a blue beret, so I have a design for like that I can replace here, and I can just paint it on right on here, and I can paint it on the side here, so it's not a blue thing. And that's a cool thing about uh, taking something that's already like there and um, dubbing it just into what you want to dub it into, you know, um, as we say in the music. <laughs> but the other thing I did get, uh, that was from one place, and another thing I did get was a, look at that, I hate Mondays, right? This is, um, of course, Garfield. I used to collect, when I was like in my teens, I used to collect the little uh, collected book, paperback books, and I think there is a couple out there somewhere on the shelf because I things I love I just get it and I put it on the shelf and I get to it whenever time things. But at least I, have, you know, I know it's there. So Garfield, man, I used to love it. Odie, right? But one more thing, like I, as soon as I saw this thing, I was like, I know this thing. I want this thing. I don't know what it is. And all I could think of was, it's caffeine and something else. It's caffeine and something else. But, you know, it's cyanide and... See, I always forget the last day. But it's cyanide and um, something. But look at that. Is that cute or what? It's a plushy toy. Alright. So, one of the other things I've been doing lately, which I haven't done for years, right? Apart from, like, Batman stuff. Is start collecting um, toy cars. And the reason I've been doing them is because I kind of want them to, when I get time, when I retire in like about 20 odd years, I'll start painting them as Batmobiles, right? And silly little things that you can just turn into Batmobiles. So, you know, and I think this is from the Cars series. And I've got a few of them. So, yeah. And um, now, another thing we picked up today was this. World of Warcraft. Um, Lego. I was like, I was looking at it was broken. The leg was missing, so we just searched for the leg. For well, I just looked around for in the different bins, and suddenly there was a leg. And I was like, oh, cool, found the leg. Uh, and then I had to ask Jace. I said, what, what is this thing? Because I don't know what this thing is. So this is right, a World of Warcraft thing. Okay, 
So, one of the other things, I for, almost forgot until I list it that way. I got this today. I have no idea what this is from, but look at that beautiful. I want to I wanna be able to do this sort of pose for Incredigirl. I would really love to see. But then it's like a manly pose, and I don't want my character to be manly. I want it to be a feminine, amazing female character. Incredigirl, that is. Right? I want it to be like... A really cool, you know, um, Supergirl. I never made it to be Supergirl, but she's similar to Supergirl, I guess. The weird thing was I never read any Supergirl, girl, uh, Supergirl comics, but um, you know, once my niece came up with an idea, you know, a name with Incredible Girl and stuff, I was able to make the superhero come to life. Now, oh, okay, so there was other things around here somewhere we got a ton of stuff today i just let me just have a look um what do we actually get so uh-huh 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 is that part of that right here we go so right so one of the other things we got today i mean i got today was a gift all right i have a friend Who's a, who's a creative director of um, Pl uh, Plunge Enterprises, right? He's the guy who did the cover for, the really cool cover for Incredigirl. Uh, and so I bought him this today. Evil Dead, because he's a horror fanatic. I hope he hasn't got this, because it would suck if he has, but this is Ultraviolet, um, Blu-ray plus Ultraviolet. So I'm hoping that, you know, he'll, he'll be really cool about this. Um, let me just open it up. Uh, get rid of this cell tape. Put there so that people can't just steal the disc, you know, and leave it empty. I just thought of something I used to do when I was a little bad little teenager, which was I I steal the covers of um, Iron Maiden. That's why I buy a lot of a lot of stuff. I was talking to my niece, um, sister about the other day why I buy hard copies of stuff, why I spend all that money. Um, so is that cool or what? That, um, the disc, picture disc there. So, um, you know, reaching out, it's like a sketch, um, it's, yeah, it's like a drawn hand rather than a photo. Whereas, like, you go here. I mean, that could be like, um, yeah, that could be like a um, storyboard. That's a, a storyboard of the cover. Right, so, yeah, so when I was, yeah, when I was in my teens, I was huge film buff like really and I still am but like I was really huge I was like watch like about eight 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 films a week at least I just go every every payday boom give me a whole week supply of movies and I watch whatever and I remember at one point I must have just watched everything that was available in the Mount Wellington um video I don't know what if it was I don't think it was video easy or anything like that. It was just on Blockbuster. It was just a video thing. Anyway, video library thing, place. And um, so, yeah. So, what I... And then, anyway. So, there was Decca next to it. And Decca used to have music in the old days. Decca what, was part of Farmers or something. Or Farmers took over Decca and so on. And, uh, and so, I used to be this naughty little teenager. And that's why I kind of like... Like I said, I buy a lot of hard copies of shit. And so uh, I would go and get the covers or steal, yes, I wasn't, you know. So I would steal the covers of Iron Maiden albums. And then I would go back a week later and go, hey man, what happened to Iron Maiden? Um, this is a cassette, it's not, there was no DVDs at this point. This is like about 88, 89. I go, where is the... Where, where, what happened to that thing? No, because I was friends with a guy. I mean, over time, he was, you know, he's similar to my age. Maybe, maybe a bit older. Yeah, might be, he might have been in the 20s. And I was 18-ish. And so I'd go, where is that man thing? And so he goes, dude, I don't know where it is. I, I need to know what the code on that was so I could look it up. And after a while, I was like, damn it. I might as well just not do this because i want a disc but i want it cheaper that's what the whole point was it was like about sometimes 15 dollars and i wanted for 10 dollars so i'd steal the fucking you know covers but anyway there you go 
shit happens, right? When you're a teenager, you just think you you have no, you know, there's no, you are, you're untouchable, right? And then you grow up and you realize those things could damage your entire, you know, life because people would bring it up and go that. And anyway, so I've, I've spent like money, money, money. Like, I mean, just buying hardcover stuff, um, hard copies of stuff that I enjoy because it's like, I can just, you know, just put back out what I took out of the world as such. So another one, right? So one of the things <laughs> I love Lego, Lego thing, Lego Batman, right? I do, I do, I do. So this, I found this today and I was like, I gotta have this. No matter what, I gotta have this. So I, the Lego movie, Digital Ultraviolet, I don't even know what that means, right? I just, I just know I'm gonna put on my drive, um, you know, disk drive and let's see what happens. So next up, when I was a kid, like when I was, like I was saying, we're, we're talking about like teens, right? So when I was a teenager, I would, I was really, really into Wolverine and X-Men. And, and the thing was that I would buy everything to do with mutants. So I didn't, yeah, everything to do with mutants, right? So it was, that was my thing. No DC, no nothing. I didn't understand it. And that was a thing for at least 20 years. So today, um, Jace was able to see this and I said, oh, do you, do you have it? I don't know. I don't care if I have it or not. I just want to have it, at least a copy just in case if I don't have it. So there is Hugh Jackman, the greatest Wolverine that ever was, that ever will be. Man, I don't know who could take over his role ever. <laughs> and also, I did find a, a, uh, if I can get it, <laughs> I did get a, um, I did get a crazy, um, how's that? Just in case, you know, sometimes I feel like um, having hair. <laughs> I can put her this week. Anyway, all right, let's get to this comic book. So this is from um, Delivery, right? Look at the size of the Delivery. So I, this is a Mighty Ape book, in which I mean package, which confused me a bit because I was like, you know, what? I don't, I don't remember buying anything Mighty Ape. So what happened was like the poster came up the thing. I was, I think I was lying in bed or sleep or something. I don't know. Early in the morning, and she knocked on the door. And then, um, uh, when I saw this, and she was at the bottom, I was like, "Thank you very much," you know. And I picked it up, and I thought, "This is quite. This is what is this?" So I picked it up, and um, I grabbed it, and um, it was so light. And I was like, "Why is it such a big book?" So. One of the things, like, I mean, like I've said, and you guys are great, seriously. Uh, on C NZCNC, you know, you guys are great. Um, and that's Facebook, guys. If you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's Facebook. It's a New Zealand um, run. Um, comic book fan auction. Um, you know. Fellowship of the comics, <laughs> you know, people who enjoy post their comics or post their stuff. So check this out. I have made a mistake. Maybe I should have checked what I had bought. Because, and I think I'm going to post this on a toy, toy, uh, toy collector site. Uh, New Zealand action figure site. The reason for this, <laughs> I forgot that I bought this. Do you guys know what this is? Oh, I'm going to break this, I'm sure. My brain's going to break it. Well, not my brain, my hands are going to break it and it's going to drop. I have a... Um, I have too many concussions, so what happens is like I tend to not like not understand what my hands are doing sometimes. Like sometimes they're not weighted as much because my brain's like trying to tell my hand um, if it's heavy or if it's light. It's weird. I, I've noticed that uh, recently, like, and you know, that's the thing about it. you got to accept your weaknesses 
and um, build on your strengths. And that's, that's what I've been trying to do. And I have, I have a good mate who keeps an eye on my... Um, so I don't walk into the middle of the road and get run over, that sort of thing. I forget, like, what I'm doing sometimes. And, and yeah, so I can see why there was package and bubble wrap. And Glenn, awesome, man. I don't know how to put this together. I'm like, seriously, I don't know how to put this together. How is this supposed to go together? Is the instructions. But anyway, this is a, like a, some, um, a bike, a Star Wars bike. And I'll, I expect this to be quiet. <laughs> I'm in a happy mood because like um, I've, I've done my dishes, I've done my things. And I've been proven wrong today about this. <laughs> I, I thought these were comics. <laughs> I mean, this package was comics. But I can see, whoops, see what I mean? Almost dropped that. My brain didn't tell up. Yeah. Anyway, so I got to figure out how to put this together. Um, and thank you, Glenn, for um, sending it in. It's such a cool thing. I, um, I, uh, yeah, and the, oh, I was like, there's little bits for the other bits of the propellers. Is it propellers or wings? I don't know what they're called. With this, you know. Anyway. Well, what a, what an awesome. I um I have at the moment my I have a friend who I've known for about over 25 years who I went to art school with like back in like 95. And is that 24? Seven years. Wow. Um anyway, so I went to art school in 20, sorry, um 95. Is it 94, 95? And Kevin, I, I lived with Kevin from, you know, for a couple of years as well while we were at school. And um, I asked him this weekend if he would take, if he would take Incredigirl, right? Just bear with me. And I've been talking about Incredigirl recently quite a lot because, see, I've been wanting Incredigirl toys. And that's because I love Incredible Toys. So, I mean, not Incredible Toys, but I love toys. It's, uh, you know, if you look, look, here. Yeah. Let me give you a, how do I do this? Can I turn this around? Anyway, let me show you my, my room. Let's, let's open this up a bit. Let's loosen that. And here we go. There you go. All right. So this is my uh, one corner, right? This is like, it's like about four meters on each side. No, maybe three meters on each side. So if you look at that, that's three meters on each side. And there's like up there, there's no space. It's like piled on, piled on, piled of box um, figurines. And also up there is my display of my, um, Blade Runner. And then over there is my display of um, Batman stuff right and that was supposed to be dc that behind there because it's all this stuff i've got tons of figurines i had to move because i had to put this one here and um and so i had to move that out of the way so there's there's like boxes of uh dvds and comic i mean toys that we're going to give away and toys that are, i mean figure extra figures are mine that thing so this was supposed to be all as you can see, there's mostly Marvel there, right? That was supposed to be Marvel. That was supposed to be DC. It's mostly DC, as you can see, right? Um, okay. The boys started from DC, as you can see. Um, let me see if I can bring it closer. No, it doesn't go closer on video. Okay, so, yeah. And over, also there's stuff there. And then you come around here, there's comics, right? <laughs> and if you go back that way, there's like another... There's like a shelf here. And that's like the stationary and then behind that see that that's another shelf and that's full of comics and graphic novels and what you can't whoops sorry my bad you know you've seen the oh okay i hope you saw the spider-man hanging off the, off the thing there so what you can see here there's another right over let me see there's another almost two meter wide and two and a half meter high bookshelf of hardcovers and trade paperbacks and of course this is all our down there is our 
our printed Rising Sun comic books. And also in there is my The Circle five issues, uh, six issue miniseries. All right. Comic book, which I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. And um, in, um, what I'm going to do with a plunge this year. So, I'm just going to, oh yeah, so anyway, so I asked my longtime friend, who's an amazing sculptor, to actually make um, figurines of Incredigirl. This is a 3D, un un like, unclean, you know, the back's unclean, figurine of Incredigirl. So that we can make it into a, uh, make a silicon case for that design that he comes up with. And that we can make lots of uh, resin toys. And that way I can just, you know, when we get, do our do our comic books, we can just give it to, get, put it as part of the our tier. Or we, when we do plunge convention, we could just part, give it as like, as pri spot prizes and stuff. And prizes for coloring or prizes for comics or, you know, or best dressed um, cosplayer kind of thing. So it's, it, it's kind of like, um, it's gone from me having an idea in 2007 to having a physical figurine now, right? And I think this is the greatness of having so much talent in our community, but having spent so much time in our community and known so many talented people, it allows me to reach out to my friends and friends of friends and say, would you like to be a part of what we're doing? And would you like to use your talent to do that? And I think the greatness about these things is that um, it's a joy is having them say, yeah, yeah. And uh, you don't always get yeah, but it's good to get yeah, because it means that, you know, you're using skills, allowing someone to use their skills and their talent base. And that allows you to also further what you're trying to do and then you can show people what you can do. What, no, no, what, sorry, what they can do also. And that's always been my thing. It's like mentorship. It's like, here, I'm getting old. Someone's going to have to take over this stuff that day. Who can take over from us? Kind of thing. So, you, you know, you're building a community of these amazing, uh, you know, people around you that someday someone else will be able to reach down and lift up and be able to say come on you can also do this and i like the great things that are happening in our community in front of ray and of course there's always great things happening all across new zealand and that is something awesome about the um the comic book community that it's, it's such a um, you know it's such a it's such a cool thing that you can share and uplift people and and you know, I don't like to sell my comics, but sometimes it's great to just be able to say, I give away toys instead. <laughs> really, that's my thing. I, can't, I don't give away comics, but I do give away toys. So it's great to, you know, get some, suddenly, like, I purchased this. I'm not saying I said I got this given to me, but yeah, I had forgotten that I got you know, ordered, I mean, bought this. And that was off a New Zealand action figures, action figure collector side or something. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to try not to fix this. Eh? I'll have a look online, see what, how to put it together, and then we'll do that. And um, wherever you are, kakite anō, be well, and see you next time.